think it's hilarious. I keep getting like this mail about, you know, hey, we'll get rid of your weeds, we'll do this, we'll do that. I'm like, why do I need somebody to throw a bunch of chemicals on my on my property to kill something that has just amazing nutrition, you know? I just I just don't get it. Gold, I'm a young nigga with an older soul, but still young enough to know I gotta know some more. I made some out of nothing. You know what I call this, guys? Free organic food. So on your typical spring day, I mean, I have more dandelions that I know what to do with, and they make a great treat for your rabbits. Isn't that right, guys? Get the gals flowers. Ladies love flowers. Just another simple way to feed your rabbits for free. That's what I call sustainable. So this is the purpose of a fish feeder ring. It allows me to create a hole in the middle of the duckweed in which I can feed my fish without interrupting the duckweed around it so I can feed the fish, the fish are produce waste which is going to help supercharge my duckweed ultimately for these guys right here. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is a video that I've been wanting to put out for, for a little while now and this is a concept that I've been thinking about for years even before I had rabbits and so I'm glad I was able to get out to you guys. Uh, the most important thing I hope you guys got from the video is just the fact that you know with any for any grass-fed animal it is possible to do it you know, within your means and do it sustainably and do it for free. And so as you can see from kind of what I've done here is I'm taking, you know, good old fashioned know-how from other gardeners and, you know, uh, permaculturists and homesteaders before me. And I've kind of incorporated the 21st century technology lens, so to speak, because I think technology can really help us be more sustainable. And so, you know, like I said, the most important thing that I want you guys to know is you can do it sustainably you know, without leaving your home, you know, so that's the first thing that I, that I hope you guys are able to get from the video. The second thing is to kind of, you know, you know, disprove this perpetuated myth that many think tanks and movements, certain movements hold that in order to have, you know, in order to have rabbits or in order to have any kind of, you know, grass fed animal requires lots of you know, vegetables or crops that would otherwise have went to humans, which is totally not true. It's, it's 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 a lie, <laughs> for, for for lack of better terms, and and they and they realize this, but th you know by continually perpetuating it, hopefully I feel like they think that it'll lead to to uh, people believing it, which I think, you know they've been successful in large part, and so I just want to go over the the five different ways that that I feed my my uh, my rabbits for free here. First one is perennial grasses. If you have a yard. You know, and you grow grass or sod, you know, you, you can feed your rabbits for free. Now, I highly recommend that you remove the grass or the sod that's there and you put something that's more sustainable um, and better for your, your rabbits or chickens or whatever. For me, that's perennial grasses. Um, so pasture grass, which you can get locally pretty cheaply, and it's great because it, it, it keeps on growing. So that's what I've done. I've removed the sod and I've put down pasture grass. Second thing is weeds. I produce more weeds here than I know what to do with, and I'm hoping to become more sustainable in that aspect. But yeah, weeds are growing all over the place, so another great food source for your rabbits. Number three, plant trimmings. You know, I grow a lot of vegetables here, and you know, part of having vegetables and being a responsible gardener is to trim your plants because that will allow the plant to be healthier, which gives you higher yields. The fourth thing is duckweed. I think it goes without saying, I love duckweed. If you don't believe me, look at my <laughs> video they did on duckweed. Duckweed is great, and in the name, it's a weed, and it grows it grows crazy, like wildfire. And so with the duckweed, I have it in every you know body of water that I can here at my house, at my home. And uh, yeah, duckweed is great, especially in the wintertime when you, you don't have as many other options, especially if you have harsh winters. Duckweed is a good alternative to help supplement your, your rabbits, chickens, etc. And the fifth thing would be everything that I, you know, elect not to eat, whether that be a carrot, 
greens, leafy greens, cucumber, zucchini, what what have you. So re realistically, you know, I'm feeding my rabbit every, you know, unedible things that I am unable to eat and then edible things that I elect not to eat and that I would compost anyway. So, you know, unedible plants that I can't eat and my compostables. So I give it to the rabbits and whatever they don't have to consume, I, you know, I compost and I turn to high quality compost and return it back to the earth. So this idea that, you know, it can't be done, it most definitely can be done. And it can be done in a sustainable way. So I hope you guys like the video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, guys, long live the Republic.